All right, so this episode's gonna be calmer than the last one. It, you it, guys are gonna be. It's not gonna be ASMR. It, no, but no, it's no. Be I was, calmer. I was hang, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> trying, to, trying to level with the audience for a second. Oh my god! All right. Hey, hey guys. So so. Stress. So yesterday we got we got a little we got a little got a little out of hand. Uh, and I just we? Wanna, we 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 Josh? we got a little out of it. <laughs> we Listen. as a unit got a little out of a little, little, Josh hand. Little out of Jake hand. Um, All right. And you know. Wayne. Uh, Wayne was Wayne, chill the yeah, whole Wayne time. Wayne was chill. Um, we would just like to of. appreciate. <laughs> we would like to. We would like to appreciate. The chillness that Wayne has has brought to and us. And so we're gonna we're gonna ah! to our community. <laughs> I was gonna and, I was just about to say we we're gonna have and, a chill episode and, this yeah, time. And, and, um, but you know what? You know what? Yeah, we're not gonna scream. We're not gonna yell. There might be a little. Maybe not as much. And by little, <laughs> I mean probably the whole episode. But that's okay. Um, um I disagree. We but you know, all that's make cool. mistakes. You know. I mean. Some of us do. Um, you know? I mean, some of us are perfect, yeah. but okay. uh, I'm not gonna name any names. Yeah, yeah. So like, <laughs> yeah. This in between has been good. We should have been recording. <laughs> we should have been recording in between, because there was some good stuff going on. There was some pretty great stuff. Um, going on. <laughs> it is hot. I don't know if it's just because I've been telling stories with my entire body. It's because you're sitting um, next to me. It's just, it's just you, Jake. Well, I have officially removed all of. My shirt. All of his shirt. Not not, not half. half. Not not one not fourth. Half. You know, if we had a webcam, we'd be getting more subscribers. <laughs> you can just picture it with your mind hole. Yeah. We we have another roommate in here, Mark, who's just laughing at everything that <laughs> we're just saying. Like, <laughs> He's just staring uh, at us. You know, it's good. Judging yeah. us. I feel like my throat, like, I haven't spoken so much You're in a long time. You're more than welcome to try to, like, fit yourself back here and join in. Yeah, come I don't on, know Mark. Much room, throat, but... You don't have to if you don't want to, but you can. No one's going to be able to hear you from up there. <laughs> you got, yeah. I don't know if the mic's going to pick you up from He's... the uh, top bunk, sir. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, you can try. You okay. might want to project a little bit we more. Yeah, 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 you'll have to project it. It's not yeah, going to Especially with us here. Us thespians. Us. Yeah. Excuse that. me? Thespis, an ancient Greek actor. Who who was a part of the chorus one day in singing, and then once once in the in the, in the the chorus, there was a character speaking, and then randomly Thespis was like, you know what, I'm going to be this character. And so Good just story, bro. Ran, Good story. He just judged himself <laughs> outside of the chorus and was like, I am a character. And people were like, whoa, Thespis. And then from now on, actors are known as Thespis. And then some guy was like, you know what I want to write about? No. A guy who slept with his mom. Oh, no. Oedipus. Oedipus. Uh, we actually read that in uh, Western literature, Dude, which is Greek one of tragedy. the most useless class. Like, I love Greek tragedy. I gotta tragedy, say, okay? like, I don't mind any of the stuff we read, but, like, I could read all that stuff myself. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. It, it's, it's, from what I understand of Greek tragedy, is it's like Shakespeare. It depends on how it's performed because it's written very beautifully. Yeah, but, but like, reading a play. Yeah, reading not a play the best. sucks. I hate reading plays. Not the best. I mean, Midsummer Night's Dream is my favorite play. It's awesome. It's also written greatly. I love how yeah. it's written because. And, I mean, you can enjoy it reading it's it. Spunky. It's very spunky. Yeah. I have actually, nothing to input here because yeah. I don't read because I'm not a nerd. I don't read that much. Um, yeah. But, like, and I don't read Midsummer Night's Dream. I really like seeing it. And it makes me yeah. sad because I don't think I'll see it the way that I want to see it anymore. Because, like, mm. I was in a high school performance of it. Um, and it was done so that, like, we had a super flamboyant drama teacher. He was probably the biggest... Um, uh, stereotype, but he was awesome. Like he was really, really cool. And so he made our um, our. Sadly, he left like a year ago or something like that. But like, he made our Midsummer Night's Dream themed around like a nightclub instead. Yeah. <laughs> and so like, legitimately, he had um, my now girlfriend, who's the best artist I've met ever, paint a giant orchid on the stage, which was like lit up. With like nightclub lights, was it, was it, it was super lit, bro. 
There was like a whole like lifted stage in the back with like a deck on it, like a Li DJ's Li thing. Lifted, you say? Oh my god. Just like what's happening on screen. Hmm. What? Oh snap, here comes <laughs> But Room Fairy, here comes Oberon. <laughs> He's like, yo, what's <laughs> up? Find me a flower. Yo, go get me a flower. Yeah. yeah, it's a good play though. Yeah, it's a good like, play. Like legitimately, it's the best, and it's... I, I can't feel like I'll see it good enough again because like mm. I felt so right. I like to call this guy Lightning Face. <sighs> I don't know why you would want to call him that. I like to call you him know? Mr. Schnuckles. Um, because I don't see any lightning. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Do you now, uh, sir? I mean, you know, you could call it that. Um, I like that most of these are just like giant monsters and then at some point they start shooting lasers at you and you're just like where do those right. lasers come from because like that one in the coliseum thing shot lasers at you yeah this one's shooting lasers. i like yeah. i'm confused because like i would think that that lightning would travel through the water and murder you to death yeah, yeah. and i would prefer that but it, whoa hey now but it doesn't well like it's magic lightning You've had one death, one official death, you know? Yeah, the other one doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't count. Yeah, yeah, no. But, like... That was just a trial run. The difficulty, what? you know? The difficulty for you... You'll be fine, Wayne. ...should be stepped up a little bit. I'm hoping you get murdered a little bit more along Play the way. this game blindfolded. <laughs> we actually talked about something like that <laughs> in, a, like, the second episode. But, yeah... Yo, did you guys know that they made VR into a real thing? <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> Do you have to climb up this? Uh, I have to get up it, but climbing is only going to take me so far. Hmm. Oh, I mean, do you have to, like, bring him in or I something? I need to get to his back end. <gasps> oh! That looks, you know, that looks okay. really easy. Yeah. All I gotta do is swim. I like then, he just... Huh? He straight up looks like a castle. Yeah. yeah. I really like it. Their design in this game is amazing. Eh. Come on, move, dude. Ah. Oh, Josh. <laughs> Just like, eh. this is the most beautiful piece of art I've ever seen. It's, you know, it's... Have you ever <sighs> seen <sighs> salad fingers? It's nice that you have an opinion, but like... But it's wrong. <laughs> It could be better. It could be. We can work on it. Brings up Salad Fingers fan fiction. Salad Fingers is so weird. I love that. That's one of my dream roles as an actor. I'm sorry. Is to be Salad Fingers. In real life? Yeah. In real life. Just drop, <laughs> leave everything behind. It's just like, you know what my absolute dream role is? You know, Saddam just to. Just, yeah, just to murder somebody in real life. Yeah, that's yeah. my dream role. That's my thesis. That's my thesis for. Uh, I'm a method when actor. I, when I get when know. I get my MFA. More like a meth head actor. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? Oh, oh man, oh, it ha. looks like he's just got straight up grass on his back. He does. Oh yeah, because he's an island. 420 blazing. <laughs> yeah. I would like to. Stupid, <laughs> by the way. He looks awesome though. I'm I'm a big fan of these. I do. Oh, because I, I grass is like also weed. Slow. That's not exactly accurate, but nice try. Grass is weed. Um, <laughs> man, it's good. The water and the right, this particle is actually, effects. Uh, what what we have to do with this guy is actually really interesting. So and mean. Bam. That is super not nice. Oh, that's like his t his forehead teeth. It's All right. <laughs> I want to ask you a question, Mike. Forehead. Have you ever had a tiny man in your mouth? Hit your hit your teeth with the sword. No, no, because it hurts. Okay, well, it hurts real bad. It depends. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Wayne. Explain that to me. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm gonna let you figure out the rest. Context. Okay, so you know those episodes of the Magic School Bus where they're like, "What? Hey, we're gonna turn everyone super tiny, and then we're gonna like launch 
them into another person's body. Launch is yeah. the funniest and, and term like, I've ever heard to describe um, that. <laughs> and then, like, you know, shenanigans ensue, and it's hilarious. Yeah. Okay, look, I'm not gonna say I was part of an experiment such as that, but I was totally part of an experiment such as that. And there were little people in my mouth, and they were having some sort of Shakespearean squabble in there. Giant sword fight oh. Oh, against my teeth. It really happened. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Oh. I'm totally making this up. You this see, like... Because this is actually completely impossible. There was, like... <laughs> I would not say impossible. I think it, I think it would be Improbable. possible. <laughs> you have no idea what these next few years of our lives... That's could, true! Uh, ...could do. Oh. Uh. I do have to say, however, because I try not to be a lying individual, that there was a good amount of time that I was like, let me listen to Wayne's story. <laughs> this sounds interesting and believable. <laughs> and then it hit me. He is a lying, <laughs> lying man. <laughs> and he cannot be trusted. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. I can't, me. I can't remember which point it was where I was like, not true. <laughs> But I, I should can... hope it wasn't that far in. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't lie. <laughs> I can. He afraid. cut down and, that. Uh, he cut down that cherry tree. Yeah. What? Are you, you talking about lie. George Washington? Yeah, right talking about George Washington. That didn't actually happen. Are you kidding? Are you talking about the OG George that... Washington? Yes. yes. Yeah. No, that story's made up. It didn't happen. He didn't cut down a cherry no. tree? No, I don't think so. No. Were you just... Dude, the wait, news wait, wait. media. Wait up. The corrupt news media. But did you believe he did? Like, right now? Before you said that? I didn't care. Oh, because I was... I was but I'm confused as to why you brought it up, because I thought you were bringing it up. No, because as... you were like... You said, I did not tell a lie, and I was like, I... I oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were inputting it as, like, another fake story, and then all of a sudden you were totally serious about, like thinking that it happened, and I was like, what? What's it happening? Is We don't need drugs. We don't need alcohol. We just need to be our stupid selves to sound like the most Man. like inane fools on the planet. As You're Wander's welcome. getting slapped around on this thing's head. Oh yeah, amazing things are happening on screen. That's Man, some of the truest no attention stuff. To George Washington. Heard. Um, but yeah. He sounds Flankler. like he got <laughs> hit in the teeth. Um, Star Spangled Scanner, not to alienate. Star Spangled Scanner. Not to alienate the, uh, actually, let's de-alienate the audience. Okay, Okay. so, so let us tell yeah, you, you the story of, this. of Hail to the Chief. <laughs> was that what it was called? I forget yeah. like 100% of what it was. Um, the idea was that uh, during the presidential elections, um, of what year? Of, of, of re uh, yesteryear. Oh, um, yeah. Of most recent yesteryear. Uh, of, 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 um, Clinton and Trump. Um, that uh, one. Uh, we were discussing what it would have been like if, like, Abraham Lincoln had been brought back to life and brought into, uh, the nation at such a time. Um... And what sort of war would con? I think you would have made it if you kept, if you like committed, but yeah, that's what my acting now. professor always tells me. Uh, <laughs> and so we we started talking. Wow. <laughs> wow. I don't know why I wasn't. All right, continue. <laughs> I'm talking about the not roles that you. I do. <laughs> yeah, dear God, not you, Josh. I thought. <laughs> All right, Wayne, tell us a story. <laughs> it's hard to follow up on that. Don't touch me, Josh. <laughs> to those, to those, oh. to those who are watching, I put my arm around Wayne, and then he punched me in the face. That's and you can hear what it. Happened. You can hear. Yeah. Oh, here's the impact did, noise. I... See, he did it. Yep. <laughs> That's not All the right. impact noise. So like. <laughs> So basically, it was something about Abraham Lincoln getting resurrected and fighting against Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. <laughs> and like, it turns out that a bunch of like national oh, uh, monuments and stuff are actual, actually like secret weapons. Yeah. So like um, Mount Rushmore was like a fort. It's a mecca. 
I, I it's always forget how many heads. It yeah, four. It's like a yeah, four? it's like a yeah. four-headed mecha. Just like a giant stone mecha. Um, and like the uh, the Washington Monument is actually just like a giant sword. Like for an said anime mecha. mecha sword. Um, absolutely. And like in order to find these ancient weapons, <laughs> a Abraham Lincoln has to like uh, storm into Area 61. Um. Area 51. 51, yeah. Uh, no, 61. It should be 61. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Nobody yeah. talks about 61. That's how secret it is. Everyone knows about 51. Um, <laughs> uh, but, like, the... Uh, so he has to storm into Area 61 to get the Star Spangled Scanner. So he can <laughs> so find he can all the find secret these weapons. Relics. These relics of old. It's a beautiful story idea, and just, like... It's totally copyrighted, for sure. Yeah. So, like, don't steal it, because it's ours. Yeah. Um, and we'll make it one. What? It'll be the biggest hit of all times. Okay. Got this guy. See, I love the, uh... The Mer way that boss works. Like, there's a form to it. Yeah. The manipulation yeah. behind it is really interesting, and it took me so long yeah. to figure out how to properly fight him the first time around. I mean, a lot of these bosses are really interesting. Um, I feel like I'm more the kind of person who likes a more freeform one, you know? Like, like a lot of them are sort of, there's a linear road oh, that you have to scary. take. I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Drowned! <laughs> Turn off the episode. Just dead. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Turn to the aggro screen where aggro's running around. He's I the know. only live character anymore. You have to finish off the rest of the colossi as, as a horse. As a horse. That would be aggro. Just awesome. Aggro just stands up on his hind legs. He's like, Meh! and he holds the sword and he's just like <laughs> sprinting like a man. It's like, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. like holding the sword in his mouth and he's just like, <laughs> he's voiced by Peter Cullen. He attaches the bow to his back somehow. He's like a tank. Oh, what's this? What's this? An actual cutscene? Plute? What did you just say? Plute. Plot. Uh, that's what I said. Plot. Oh, I was just like, <laughs> Plute? Is that like a reference? Is that a... <laughs> no, it's Plute. Plute it's is Plute. plute. It yeah. It sounds like a plute food. Plute is Plute. It sounds yeah. like a food. Like Obviously. one of those foods that like you never want to eat because it's like super... It's like if you're going through really hard times, all you can eat is Plute. <laughs> Look at this man! Dude, oh, man, this looks important. But yeah, yeah, that was the uh, the mask from the four. It was that we skipped through at the very beginning of the game. Um, that's the that's the guy. The guy wearing the mask is the like shaman or yeah. whatever. He was the hero that originally sealed away Dorman. Yeah, you guys remember that stuff that we skipped through, right? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's it's fine. We I think we mentioned like if you wanna watch it, go yeah. find a YouTube video. Yeah, on yeah it. stop. A being... YouTube video, that thing we're not making. <laughs> we'll waste your time while you could be spending yeah. your work or school on watching video game cutscenes. It's yeah. more important to watch our videos. You can, you it's you can, stupid. You can go hang out with your girlfriend. Nah. 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 Spend time with us. My we're own. your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> the three of us collectively together are We're a hive your... mind girlfriend. We are. Oh god, I need to stop that voice. Your I girlfriend. Need to, I need to stop that voice right now. I am your girl. Uh, we are your girlfriend. This is like an Atome game. Uh Boss Rush is an Atome game. I know That's somebody out there who's just got like her head in her hands. I think everyone has all yeah. of their heads in their hands right now, you know? That's all right. I'm sorry, honey. I love you. Are you using this just as a? Uh, as a are you talking to our? Outlet? Are you talking to our collective boyfriend, which is the audience? Yes. I am. The answer is yes. Whoa! What? <laughs> our no. collective boyfriend. Yeah, our collective boyfriend. Uh, we were just talking about this. Wayne. Wayne has got up. Wayne is leaving. All right. I mean, we did end the boss. I guess that's true. This is the end of the boss rush. Yeah. Episode, so. Um, this you is guys great. have a nice weekend. Oh yeah, it is Friday. Not for us. It's Monday for us. Yeah, it's, it's Tuesday. It's, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday? Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. Oh my Thursday. god. <laughs> my yeah, life is a mess. It's Friday. It's Friday to, for To the people watching them. this video, it's Friday. Oh, I'm oh, yeah, just confused yeah, yeah, yeah. about my own state of <laughs> being in this world. I was just correcting you. Um, we should humbly. have a story time at the end of every boss rush where like, we just sit down and we're like, hey. 
around the campfire. This is this is what this my is, life has been like. It could be like boss days. rush, and if you want to stay for story rush, stay for story rush. You mean like a after party podcast? Yeah, after party podcast.